Hey everybody, this is March 28th, 2009. I am Sonic Sons. I'm here to talk about something that could and at some point will completely revolutionize the industry known as video games. We're having the Game Developers Conference just now, and Tuesday night there was an incredible announcement by a new company called OnLive, who's apparently been working on some super cool technology in secret for the last seven years. And they can now promise us that you will never need to upgrade your anything again, in terms of video games. Just to say that um, every computer on the market can now play basically every game. You, you have a you know, random just crap netbook that just all it does is goes on the internet. That's all it was ever designed for. So long as it can uh, play video, and so long as it's got an internet connection of 1.5 megabits per second, I got bits, bytes, dang it. <laughs> I forget these distinctions. So long as it's, that's like a standard, you know, broadband internet connection. I believe it's like 71% of U.S. households already have that. As long as you've got that internet and a computer which can play video, you know, at standard definition, you can play any game. <laughs> Without any regard to uh, how much hard drive space you have, without any regard to how much RAM you have, as long as it's enough for video, without any regard to your graphics card, your browsers, or anything about the like. In fact, you don't even need a computer. You can have this little, what they call a micro console. It's this thing. It just it plugs into internet, and then it's got a wireless controller, and it plugs into your TV, and presuming you have a good internet connection, boom! Anything. Freaking Crisis. Do you know Crisis? It's a game very well known for being absurdly hard on your hardware. Even game developers and game reviewers don't always have, you know, uh, tricked out computers capable of playing Crisis at, 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 full, uh, at full power, you know, with all the settings tuned up. You can do that on this flipping little micro console thing, which is going to be selling for, all they've said so far is less than the Wii, but it, it's cheaper than the Wii, it's smaller than the Wii, and it can play as freaking Crisis. And furthermore, it'll play whatever it is developers come up with in the future. Anything that just absurdly hard, you know, graphics processing stuff. Basically anything. It can do that. And your computer can do that. And your, your Windows or Mac could do that. They had Crisis running on a MacBook Air. Which, if you don't know it, is, you know, first of all, a Mac. And Crisis is not for the Mac. And secondly, it's not particularly well-powered. And it does... Everything. <laughs> now, now, okay. Um, wow, this this could this could change a lot. Now you may be wondering, how on earth do they do this? Do we just invent like quantum computing or something? Do we? Well, no. It's 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 the internet thing is the important bit. It's server side um, computing. It's cloud computing, as what they're calling it now, which has nothing to do with actual clouds. For those of the non tech savvy out there, what it means is instead of your computer or console or whatever doing all the calculations necessary to run the game, you know, which in terms of uh, certain games may be really hard to do and require, you know, really big hardware. Uh, it just communicates with a server. They set up these huge data centers thing with very fancy, fancy pants computers. Um, and you, like, hit a button, and that'll zap through the internet all the way to their data center, and that'll calculate the thing in less than one millisecond, which is good, which is so good, in fact, that by the time it sends the video back to you, uh, you don't even notice the delay. So, whatever the servers can handle, you can handle, provided you have an internet connection. Uh, that thing. And it can also do high definition if you've got, like, uh, uh, 5 megabits per second. Um, which, you know, you, you can get. And what this means is, you know, the whole deal, we have consoles, and we, and we buy a console, and, like, every couple of years, you know, you, you, you buy a new one, and, well... Turns out that stuff isn't nearly as important as anyone has ever predicted. We have, like, you know, the Xbox 360 running on, on three cores and its processor, and then the freaking PS3's got nine. And then the Wii, by the way, is selling better than everybody, and it's uh, it's got just the one, you know, <laughs> running at relatively low power. First off, proving that you don't even need high-powered stuff uh, nearly as much as everyone thought. And then, imagine furthermore, we get a thing which is cheaper than the Wii but can also do the high-powered things. And you, like, never need to upgrade. This thing runs on your computer. You don't even need to, like, buy the software for it. You, you, you download a browser extension, which is one megabyte in size, which is nothing. 
you install this, and uh, you pay you pay a subscription fee. So they haven't announced the fees and everything. Um, basically, you pay a subscription to get on on live on on live, and uh, then you then you know individual publishers of games uh, can set whatever prices they want to buy a game or to rent a game or whatever. Speaking of rentals and buyings and all those things, that's going to freaking change everything. GameStop is going to die. <laughs> GameStop, you know, is, is the, you know, they're, they're, you know, a video game retailer, and they do a lot of uh, um, used games, which, you know, irks the uh, uh, regular, you know, publishers and stuff, because a used game, you can continually make money off of it by, you know, um, reselling it to people, and then eventually a customer will... will sell it back to the store at a lower price and they'll mark it up by like, you know, double at least, and then sell it off again and stuff. But well, we're not going to have any of that. Uh, so GameStop is going to die, you know. And then there's going to be like, no piracy, you know, because the whole deal with piracy is you get a copy of the game and then you, you know, figure out how to crack the code, and then you've got everything and then you can send it off over the, the internet. This is a particular problem in computers, uh, computer games, uh, console games much much less so. Now everything is on the server, which means <laughs> uh, there's nothing. There's nothing to get. There's no files downloaded. There's nothing. All they do is send you the raw video of and, you know of whatever it is that you happen to be looking at in game. Well, that changes a lot. Do you realize how much money these console people are spending on the, making the better consoles? You know, if I'm working at Nintendo or any of them, really. Um, I imagine Nintendo might be most amenable to the idea of, hey, we can have low-powered hardware that does high-powered stuff, thereby jumping ahead of our competitors. Be like, oh, Fancy Pants PS3 games? Actually, it can run on the Wii now. Just connect your Wii to the internet and on live and, and such. <laughs> Online has already got a bunch of deals with uh, um, 10 uh, game publishers, whatever it is. They said, okay, we'll put their games on a thing. And um, so far, you know, there's no, like, Zelda up there, and there's no <laughs> Halo and stuff, because... Naturally, the people who make the consoles don't want to, you know, encourage people to not buy consoles. But if I were working at one of these companies, at, let's say, Nintendo, I would say, uh, you know, to whomever, we should seriously consider the notion that the next console we make will be the last. Or the last in, in the traditional sense of it, anyway. Maybe from now on you have your little micro console. Or from now on, you know, all, all, what, what can we provide, you know? If OnLive does what it says it can do, what what does a console give you? <laughs> you can play without an internet connection. Oh, whoop de doo Everyone has an internet connection. We're getting more and more internet connections. I suppose you could sell a whole lot in areas that have low internet connections or areas like... Like, there, there is going to be a geography thing with OnLive where... Uh, they have like a data center on the east coast uh, of the United States and a data center on the west coast. And if you're in the middle, there might be a problem with latency... But really, these things aren't going to be too much of a problem. There's going to be various hiccups, right, uh, with the dot option of online. There's going to be a few bugs, I imagine. Uh, there's going to be, you know, certain people, their router gives them too much latency. The game doesn't work quite well. Though they say they've tested that very thoroughly. And they were working on this thing for seven years, apparently. There's going to be problems, you know, getting everyone to sign up. But then again, a lot of publishers... Uh, getting people to sign up, I mean, you know, video game publishers. A lot of them, however, we excited to do this because at the current, as it is currently, um, you spend a lot of money uh, paid to the console developer. If I want to put a game on the Xbox 360, generally, you know, and I put something on retail, well, a huge chunk of that retail cost goes to the uh, developers of the Xbox 360 uh, so they can, you know, make money. Well, with OnLive, you know, and then... There's no console to pay for. These online people can run much more efficiently. You know, uh, their their systems are always running. So every chip they build is constantly being used. As opposed to every chip that Microsoft builds is most of the time not being used, right? So you, you because the person will have their their console turned off at least you know 12 hours a day. I hope. So most of the time it's not being used. So to get the same amount of game potential to the same number of people, you need a lot more chips. Granted, the online people's chips probably cost a lot more and such. And, you know, that's, that's probably one hiccup for them. And with the pricing strategy, how much things will cost, that's a possible uh, problem. 